And we still have one final number left, not just now, but before we close. Thank you so much, Subhalakshmi. Pleasure is always come. Okay, so can, can I help you? See you later. Our next session is all about being fabulous as I am. This whole day, you know, all the speakers have had one sort of resonating theme. They've had one resonating theme and that theme has been about self-love, about liking yourself the way you are. And you're going to meet in this segment three very, very interesting, three very, very different women, but all in a way exemplifying that spirit. I first want to bring on stage a very, very special guest because we want to sort of honor her at the top of this conversation. Shatabdi Avasti is from Jaipur, from your city. She's a Paralympic. She's turned crisis into championship. And there she is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Shatabdi, I have read you a lot about you, but I have seen you on KBC. Do you want to say something about that experience? Actually, कुछ ऐसा होता है लाइफ में जिससे हमेशा के लिए जिंदगी बदल जाती है एक नया रूप ले लेती है। तो वैसे मेरी लाइफ का सबसे जो मैं बोलूँगी कि लाइफ चेंजिंग मोमेंट था वो था जब मेरा एक्सीडेंट हुआ था। मैं छत से गिरी और उसकी वजह से स्पाइनल कोड इंजरी मुझे हुई और मैं हमेशा के लिए व्हीलचेयर लेकिन मैंने सिर्फ ये सोचा था कि मुझे हार नहीं माननी है, जो भी है जैसे भी सिचुएशन से इन्हीं सिचुएशंस में खुद को प्रूफ करके दिखाना है। तो वही मेरा स्ट्रगल चल रहा था जब मैं अपने आप को साबित करने की कोशिश कर रही थी। उसी बीच में केबीसी मेरी लाइफ में आया और जो मैं चाहती थी वो हो गया मेरी इस वजह से नहीं कि मैंने बहुत कुछ मतलब मैंने कुछ बहुत बड़ा किया है सिर्फ इस वजह से कि मैं लोगों को ये बताना चाहती थी कि मैंने जिंदगी से हार नहीं मानी जो भी सिचुएशंस मेरी लाइफ में आईं जैसी भी परिस्थितियां आईं मैंने यही कोशिश की कि मैं अपने आप को साबित करूं तो उसके लिए केबीसी ने मुझे एक बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म दिया जो कि मुझे चाहिए था और उससे फिर हमेशा के लिए जिंदगी बदल गई इसीलिए हम आपको बात आगे बढ़ाने से पहले our award is to honor you from that. If we can get the award on stage. And you have talked about KBC, how did the fame give you a program? So I want to know that if Shweta Bachchan and Navya Nanda come to stage, and you have been honored with this award, how did you feel about it? Can you please put our hands together for both Shweta and Navya? But of course, what a pleasant surprise. 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 What a pleasant uh, can you please? Okay, Shweta. Come on, let's hear it for Shatabdi. Let's hear it for Shatabdi. मुझे ये अवार्ड लेते हुए बहुत खुशी हो रही है और ये इसका मतलब इस अवार्ड के मायने इसलिए बदल गए हैं क्योंकि जिस शख्स से मेरी जिंदगी बदली थी कौन बनेगा करोड़पति the man of millennium the great 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 अमिताभ बच्चन जी उनकी डॉटर के से मुझे ये अवार्ड मिल रहा है तो इसके मायने बहुत ज़्यादा हैं क्योंकि अमिताभ जी एक ऐसी शख्सियत हैं जिनसे मिलना मुझे नहीं लगता कि शायद हम लोगों में से उनसे मिलना तो बहुत दूर की बात है शायद हम लोग सपना भी नहीं देखते कि हम उनसे मिल पाएंगे लेकिन वो सपना मेरा पूरा हुआ अमिताभ जी से मिलने का और इससे भी बड़ी बात यह है कि जो उनका नेचर है जितने डाउन टू अर्थ वो हैं आपको तो बहुत अच्छे से पता होगा को तो मतलब बहुत खुश किस्मत है कि आप उनके साथ में रहते हैं लेकिन मैंने जितना भी टाइम उनके साथ में स्पेंड किया वो बहुत ही डाउन टू अर्थ हैं और मैम यू वोंट बिलीव जब मेरा नंबर आया था और मुझे मतलब व्हीलचेयर को पोडियम के ऊपर शिफ्ट किया गया था तो उससे पहले वो खुद उठ के आए और उन्होंने पूरा सिक्योरिटी चेक किया कि मतलब सब कुछ परफेक्ट है उसी के बाद उन्होंने मुझे वहाँ पर बैठने दिया और जब भी ब्रेक होता है तो वो आपके पास आ जाते हैं आपके हाथ पकड़ के बैठ जाते हैं और उनके वो जो एकदम रूई जैसे मुलायम हाथ है मैं उस एहसास को उस एहसास को मैं आज तक नहीं भूली हूँ और 
जो एक मतलब एक पॉजिटिविटी हम बोलते ना कि मतलब इतने बड़े आदमी के सामने बैठ के खेलना और हम जैसे एक आम इंसान जो हम लोग होते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हम नर्वस फील करते हैं लेकिन वो ऐसे व्यक्ति हैं जो आपको कभी नर्वस नहीं होने देते वो इतना फेमिलियर फील कराते हैं कि आज आज दस साल हो गए मुझे के बी सी भाग लिए हुए लेकिन फिर भी उनके साथ स्पेंड किया हुआ एक एक मोमेंट मेरे पास में अभी है और मैं पूरी लाइफ उनको चैलेंज करना चाहती हूँ एंड शताब्दी आप रहिए स्टेज पे हमारी बातचीत जारी रहेगी थैंक यू अगेन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू श्वेता थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके सो एज आई सेट दिस सेशन इज कॉल्ड फैबुलस एज आई एम एंड इट इज इन पार्टनरशिप विद वन ऑफ आर अदर पार्टनर्स ऑन वी द वुमेन इन एमर बट आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस वी हैव अ लिटल वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो फॉर यू टू प्ले आउट बट बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस दी अदर टू स्पीकर्स एज आई सेट दीज आर थ्री फैबुलस वुमेन फ्रॉम वेरी डिफरेंट स्पेसिस बट ऑल एग्जाम्पलीफाइंग द सेम स्पिरिट I think any of you who are on Instagram and are interested in fashion and style have to know the next speaker I'm about to call on stage. Please put your hands together to welcome Sakshi Sindhwani on stage. Sakshi, come on! Oh, there you are. Thank you. Good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you. Come, have a seat. Thank you. There are many mics. Just grab a seat anywhere. Aapko mein. Can you come? great and finally you know we've had many uh, unconventional brides on the stage today you saw the chenda playing uh, kerala drama girl we also have somebody who decided to get married in a pant suit she just wanted to make a statement and she's been making many many important statements about body positivity since then can we please have on stage sanjana rishi come on let's jaipur your flagging in energy let's put your hi Hello. No, thank you for coming. Just why don't you sit next to Sakshi then? Yeah. And before we get started, we did a little experiment. Uh, you know, with with an amma, we went out on the streets of Bangalore, and we asked girls to talk about this idea of self love. Like pretty much all day, uh, you know, we've been having different kinds of conversations about how women wrestle with demons in their head. Uh, how do you get out of that uh, sort of shadowy space? How do you get into a space where you're at ease with yourself? अपने आप को पसंद ज़्यादा करना चाहिए लेकिन हम लोग करते नहीं हैं तो हमने कुछ लड़कियों से पूछा कि उनका क्या रिस्पांस है जस्ट बॉक्स बॉक्स लिसन इन एंड देन विल स्टार्ट अ कॉन्वर्सेशन What are your views on body positivity? Uh, I feel uh, that everybody should accept themselves as they are, and they should feel comfortable in their own body. So, if you accept yourself and if you feel that uh, you are beautiful, then everybody is going to feel that uh, because of the confidence that you are giving out. There's no other way. We have to love our body. All women should love their body, and only then you can be happy. I think you know, women is actually blessed with you know beautiful body, and one is in a beauty, and one thing is like I'm a mother. For me to even have that, you know, uh, bearing the child, you know, that really, you know, I really feel proud of it. I think your body is beautiful. I think my body is beautiful because it has helped me give birth to two beautiful children. I feel I'm unique. and made only me as a child and myself and i love my body i am fabulous as i am i am fabulous as i am i am fabulous as i am i'm fabulous she's fabulous she's fabulous <laughs> Fabulous. We don't hear it often enough. You can clap. You can clap louder than that. Come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sakshi, I love your Instagram feed. Uh, you always look so happy. You always look so with it and energized. But was it always like that for you? Not at all. Not Tell us about the sort of dark spaces and how you emerged from those shadows. The dark went really to, to, really to dark. To 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 reach this point where yeah. there's so much sort of comfort and 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 energy that you exude i think positivity anyway comes from a place of pain somehow and uh, when you reach that point of confidence you know that you've been 
through the journey of reaching that point of confidence. Yeah. And uh, I always say self love is such a journey. I don't think I'm the uh, the standard set in self love or body positivity or what people you know associate me with. But uh, do you feel sometimes years, burdened that so many people put that sort of expectation on you or at your door? No, not really. Not really. I think um, when people say that you you know I'm the inspiration for a lot of people, I take that as such a responsibility. It's not a burden at all because I know that when I was growing up, I needed to see somebody like me. And uh, the reason why I actually started was because I was so done with seeing uh, typical, you know, this ideal body types that on traditional type, media. Yeah. And you know, uh, because my family, you know, they used to constantly tell me they used to. My my sister was obsessed with magazines, so we would have every single magazine coming to our house, and they would just look at that. It's actually, if you just lose weight, you would be so much prettier than them, right? And they would say it in like not such a negative way. But as a child, I was so influenced by that. Plus, what I was dealing with in school, I was completely and ridiculously bullied in school. Really? Yeah, like for for so many years, uh, I couldn't even uh, go out in the school corridors without like being called names. Like, what would happen? Name. What would what would what would school kids say? Everything mean. I t I tend not to go in that space because it's taken me so many years to actually heal from that space. But just very negative comments. You know how uh, people are. And the worst of it all was that you know as much as boys would bully me, girls would bully me as well. And you know that is the space I wanted to change uh, because. And I mean, girls and women are also conditioned by the same inputs that men are. So it's not always men versus women. Right. How did you get out of it? It took years of hard work, and I think uh, more than anything, the community actually helped me. When I started on my journey on social media, on YouTube specifically, I never started with the intention I'm going to change the world or I'm going to become this. I honestly just wanted to create fashion videos. It was as simple as that. But I started getting comments on um, how my body type and a regular body type is actually inspiring other people, and that to me was so fascinating because I used to not see myself as that. I was still so underconfident, and slowly and steadily, when people started putting me on you know another pedestal another pedestal i started gaining a lot of confidence it was actually the community that built me up and then you know i don't know it's just the opportunities that come your way and then the industry was changing and the people were changing and more conversations were happening i was starting a bunch of those conversations as well uh, in in my areas yeah. and um it was it was just a, such a journey there was no one point where you know that change happened i don't think that change has truly fully happened also, I don't think it has because you know the same Instagram or social media spaces that offer you that space to love yourself. Also, Sanjana can create a kind of uh, as prototypical idea of beauty. There's so many filters now. You can, you know, uh, Vidya Balan on stage was saying that that sometimes people don't look anything like what they look on social media. And so, are we really? Uh, sort of embracing the idea of self-love. Now, you got married in a pantsuit. I remember talking to you there. What was that about? Tell our audience. Um, it wasn't really about anything, kind of like Sakshi. I wasn't setting out to accomplish anything. I wore what I felt I looked good in. There were exactly 12 people, including the pundits, at my wedding because it was in the height of the pandemic. And, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I love lengas, I love saris. It just wasn't, didn't seem like a 10 kg lenga was appropriate for that occasion. <laughs> and so I ended up wearing yeah. a pantsuit. I didn't expect it to blow up the way that it did. And I definitely didn't expect the kind of like vitriol and hatred that came out of it um, because- You got hatred for your own wedding sort of people, sartorial choice. I mean, people were like, oh, you're anti-Indian, uh. culture ko badnam kar rahe ho, <laughs> and, so, and all of this stuff, go back to Pakistan. I mean, just random stuff that doesn't even really make any sense. Yeah. But then there were a lot, and I didn't really realize um, my privilege until I had posted about it and then it became the story because there are so many women in India that would not, and elsewhere, that would not have the freedom to wear what they want to wear at weddings. And so many people wrote to me saying, you know, my mother-in-law would never let me wear this or, you know, because I saw this, I decided to wear a different color even. So we live in a much, you know, Sakshi and I live in a much different world than most Indian women do where we are allowed the privilege of wearing what we want. And I just, yeah, that's really a privilege And me. since then, you've been talking about what women go through after delivering a child and the pressure on them to lose your stretch marks, to lose your weight. I, I mean, I know you've yeah. just delivered. Uh, how, how long back? Uh, she's 13 months now. So uh, it's, uh, it's old news, as my mom likes to say. Yeah, but um, I, yeah, I delivered and I realized that, again, like pregnancy is also quite glorified 
you know, you have this perfect looking belly bump and then, you know, it, it all, you lose all the weight, you bounce back and just this bounce back culture is just really toxic. And in that moment, in, those, in that first year of your baby's life, all you're focused on is the baby, right? And so I, and I had a lot of, and you, when you're pregnant, you lose a lot of your body autonomy. Yeah. And when you, when I had this baby, I was like, I am getting my autonomy back. I'm going to eat whatever I want to and just like spoil myself in a way that I hadn't before because my whole life, especially as a woman, you are told to be so controlled, right? Yeah. And like, so like you have to be on top of everything all the time, especially the way that you look. So this for me was my year of like, losing control over that aspect so I could keep control over, you know, my parenting. And I mean, I, just speaking about it on Instagram, I think is, again, because I get so many negative comments about it, I didn't realize how uncomfortable the reality of women's bodies can mm. make not just men, but also some women. And now, uh, a very different perspective from Shatabdi. Because here we are talking about body positivity, self-love, what our weight should be, how our clothes skin be, how And you're a Paralympic. You're wheelchair bound. So for you, this is the space for you. To feel comfortable to love yourself, to not be bitter, to not be angry, to not look at yourself through the eyes of others. What is this kind of journey for you? जब मेरा एक्सीडेंट हुआ तो ये कब की बात है आपकी एक्सीडेंट 2006 थोड़ा माइक ऊपर पकड़िए 2006 व्हेन आई जस्ट कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आर्म फोर्सेस आई वांटेड टू बी इन आर्म फोर्सेस ओह यू वांटेड टू बी अ सोल्जर हाँ मैं बचपन से सपना था ये बट समथिंग एल्स डेस्टाइन फॉर शुरू में तो I don't know what exactly doctor said but मुझे तो यही बोला गया था कि आपको gradually improvements होंगे पर जैसे-जैसे time निकलता गया दो महीने चार महीने छह महीने तो फिर ये समझ में आने लगा था कि अब शायद कुछ change नहीं होगा और वो एक ऐसा time था जिस जिस time में सब कुछ देख लिया कुछ लोग ऐसे थे जो आपको घर पे आते हैं पूछने के लिए well wisher बनते हैं but ये तक लोग ये तक बोल के जाते थे फेस पे कि ऐसे बच्चे तो माँबाप के लिए अभिशाप होते हैं इससे अच्छा तो मर जाती तो अच्छा रहता मतलब ये सब चीजें हाँ सुनी है मैंने तो और ये कौन बोलते थे जो लोग घर पे आते हैं रिलेटिव्स होते हैं नेबर्स होते हैं आपके मतलब जानने वाले ही होते हैं वो आते ह� सबसे बड़ी बात लाइक शादी हाँ शादी सबसे बड़ी हाँ कि शादी नहीं होगी तो कुछ नहीं होगा लाइफ में वही वही चीज थी तो बट मुझे कभी भी इन चीजों से नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट नहीं मिला बल्कि कहीं ना कहीं एक पॉजिटिविटी मिली कि हाँ ये चीजें हैं लोगों की मेंटालिटी ऐसी है तो यू हैव टू चेंज इट और मुझे लगता है कि शायद भगवान ने मुझे चूज किया उनको कहीं ना कहीं मेरे ऊपर ये कॉन्फिडेंस था कि ये लड़की लड़ जाएगी तो जब ऊपर वाले ने भरोसा दिखाया है तो फिर मुझे तो हार नहीं माननी थी तो वहाँ डेफिनेटली बहुत मुश्किल था क्योंकि आपको नहीं समझ में आता कि अब आपको क्या करना है एकदम से भागती दौड़ती जिंदगी एक बिस्तर के ऊपर आगे सिमट जाती है और शुरू के तीन चार साल तो ट्रीटमेंट में ही निकले हम लोगों ने बहुत ट्रैवल किया सब जगह जिसने जहाँ भी बताया हम लोग ट्रीटमेंट के लिए गए बट जब ये कंफर्म हो गया था एक दो साल के बाद में कि अब शायद लाइफ लॉन्ग यू हैव टू स्टे ऑन व्हील चेयर तो सबसे बड़ी चीज़ यही थी कि अब आपको क्या करना है कैसे अपने आप को प्रूव करना है तो क्योंकि मैं ग्रेजुएट थी मतलब एजुकेशन मेरे पास में थी और मैं एलिजिबल थी कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स में अपीयर होने के लिए तो मैंने घर पर बैठ के पढ़ाई शुरू की मैं लेट के पढ़ाई करती थी पूरे टाइम क्योंकि सिटिंग उस टाइम अलाउड नहीं थी फिर 2010 में मेरा स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया में सिलेक्शन हुआ एज ए प्रोबेशनरी ऑफिसर वहाँ से एक कॉन्फिडेंस आया लाइफ में कि हाँ अभी आप कुछ कर सकते हो और फिर जो एक सपना था अपनी कंट्री के लिए कुछ करने का वो कहीं ना कहीं अधूरा था तो आई वांटेड टू सर्व माय नेशन एंड दैट्स हाउ यू बिकेम अ पैरालिम्पिक एक्जेक्टली अमेजिंग आई मीन आई थिंक आई थिंक आई थिंक दैट दैट्स द पॉइंट दैट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेल्फ लव एवरीवन स्ट्रगल्स आर सो डिफरेंट आंट दे साक्षी एंड देन वी हैव दिस ट्रोप कॉल्ड बॉडी पॉजिटिविटी इट डजंट एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन और कवर एनीथिंग इट्स इज इट अ डेंजर ऑफ इट बिकमिंग अ काइंड ऑफ न्यू क्लिशे हाउ डू यू टेक द कन्वर्सेशन बियॉन्ड इट टू मेक इट मोर मीनिंगफुल आई डोंट थिंक आई रिकॉग्नाइज विद द टर्म बॉडी पॉजिटिविटी एनीमोर 
I I don't like. It is used for everything. No, but it's also I'm not body positive all day every day. I'm more body neutral. And let's be Explain realistic. That. Body neutrality essentially means that there are going to be days, some days that you will love your body, some days you're not going to be okay with your body, but you still will appreciate and accept your body. Yeah. But you'll still work on growing and just becoming the fittest yeah. version of yourself. Yeah. You know, and that's very important. Even body positivity in that sense is not being okay with however you're looking. You should love yourself, but you should never stop working on yourself. Yeah. It's not an excuse uh, for you to, to not, not work healthy. on your... Yeah, to not be to healthy. Not work. Yeah, 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 definitely. And I think the more body positive you are, the more healthy you are. I'm the fittest person I know in my whole circle. Really? I love it. I've come, I've done a workout before I came to Jaipur today morning. Oh I, my God, okay. Now yeah, no, now no, no, really I box. creating pressure for the rest of us. I had to, I had two, <laughs> two hamburgers, not even one in the five minutes which I got fine, backstage. Which is fine, which is fine, which is completely okay. And I would do the same thing. You know, it's, it's not like you shouldn't have burgers or you should restrict yourself. Yeah. I've gone through an eating disorder and I will personally say not a lot of people know about this. Again, a struggle where I had completely stopped eating. I would eat two when spoons. When was this? Because I was completely insecure. No, and I, when was this? Uh, when I was in ninth grade, ninth, tenth you had grade. You eating disorder in class nine. Yeah, and I didn't know and what was a therapist it the, was. Was it the bullying at school that led to it? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. And and what happened? Actually, it was not just the bullying. I think it was also I got dengue and I had severe dengue and I lost a lot of weight. So when I went back. It's not the best thing to do, but the principal called me to the office and I was an A-grade student. Why would the principal call me to the office, right? She called me to ask me how did I lose that much amount of weight. And everybody was appreciating me so much that I lost weight. And I had not lost weight because I worked on it because I was seriously sick. I was hospitalized for such a long time. Um, and I think I sort of got addicted to those compliments and I thought like I'm accepted now that I've lost weight. And then it, the cycle started and the eating disorder started where everybody so would, would just... what would you do? You would not eat? You would, you would be bulimic? What, what happened? Completely. I just stopped eating um, for about six months. I would, like I said, I would survive on like two spoons of rice and that's it. I'm not kidding. Like I would only have salads and like this much rice and that's it. Um, I was barely eating. I was eating maybe like 500 calories a day. Um, maybe something like that. And again, I would fall sick twice a month and I uh, finally somebody saw it in the house. And my house is, a, it's a very loving family. Uh, but you know, they were also, I think, like all families, they're also set with those notions ki ladki patli honi chahiye, tabhi wo sundar lagegi, tabhi uski shaadi hogi. Shaadi pe aage wapis. Same, same conversation happens in, I think, pretty much every household. This is something that we all relate yeah, with. Yeah. Um, and that was also a conversation for me. So when I lost weight, people appreciated me so much. Yeah. Like I'd seen that losing weight through not eating enough during boards when I was so stressed, I started stress eating and I gained all that weight. And I gained so much weight in uh, like two months that people were just like, now she's ugly again. And that term was so... Unbelievable. <laughs> You know, like I, I would hear those terms where they would start a diet, diet conversation in the house. We were sitting for dinner. Why do you need to start a diet conversation in the midst of it all? Um, and those were really, really hard. Uh, but then I just realized slowly and steadily that this is something which does not matter. Like I, I think I, I grew up. Yeah. Uh, I started adulting and I saw that there are much bigger things to focus on than... Uh, I mean, Shatabdi, look at her. Exactly, right, so. exactly. Uh, and at the end of it, I think people who uh, bullied me or saw me as a lesser human being back in the day appreciate me and are fans of what I do. <laughs> so I think we... Um, it turns full circle. <laughs> it turns full circle. Okay, anyone here who wants to come up and share their story? I, we've had some stories on stage today. How you wrestled with your own demons to reach a place where you got comfortable with who you are. Anyone, 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 anyone? Come on. It's tough to get people to, to say uh, what they're actually going through. It's often very personal, so we have to admire these women for doing it. Good evening to all and to lovely ladies. Actually, I am a cancer survivor. And I have, I have gone through the breast cancer, through surgeries, chemos, and a bald head. Then after that, I got the confidence. The beauty is lies within. I am not sure if I am going to be a person. So, I have the confidence and I am an entrepreneur, a doctor. I am a turning point like ma'am. Thanks a lot. And you all are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you, ma'am. So, when you listen to self love, this phrase is what is it for you? First of all, your health is your health. 
इट्स द ओनली स्प्रिट दैट कैन अगर आपकी हेल्थ है यू कैन डू एनी थिंग दैट इज द सेल्फ लव वेल थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग दैट एनी वन एल्स या मैरिजेंट द यूएस and can you believe it that her uh, husband's friends body shamed her as she was crying all the time and she's an md doctor i'm like you are so educated and why are you doing that so that's one instance and about me personally i'll say something which i usually now i'm more comfortable saying that because i've attained my menopause or whatever i never i married late i didn't change my maiden name that was way back because i had very progressive parents and i didn't have a child out of choice and my parents never pressured me for that and i think that was my choice and you know my husband supported me in that but i've never felt ashamed to say that that it was my choice and i think the choice lies with the woman you know nobody can pressurize you to do anything i think that's very important and i have never been apologetic about it i said with full that i was completely okay but i didn't have a child out of choice i love my niece and she's like my daughter so i'll just say that thanks thank you there's so many different ways in which we seek to button hole women and when we talk about this you know fabulous as i am what we really talking about is acceptance and before you can have the acceptance of other people you've got to accept yourself but it ain't easy because you've got all of this sort of mass media uh, you know blitzkrieg of images and you think that you have to fit one of those images did you go through your own, own journey with that sanjana Um yes but I have to say before I say anything else to this question I have to say on behalf of a generation of Indian women thank you. Oh. Um I think when you talk about what we saw in the media like for for me and my family watching you was such a formative part of thank my you. upbringing. And so I think what's thank important you. there is that we had a positive image. Oh thank you. And I I mean I'm just su- such a we were just just we were fan girling over you oh, as they say. Oh thank. You. Um but that's what it is is you know I rep- representation matters more than anything else. So having Sakshi out there I mean I went to Couture Fashion Week and Sakshi was in every single fashion show. Yeah. So for me that spoke volumes yeah. right so yes we are bombarded with these images of sort of the prototype body the perfect image of somebody but i think it is hopefully changing now a bit although i'm disheartened because i think you know again like we're we sort of come to this place where we're disavowing the term body positivity because like you said it becomes a cliche it becomes a trend yeah. and i've heard that the international fashion weeks especially this season have become far less um you know representative yeah inclusive of real bodies and i think that's that's the real shame of it right is like it became cool because it was a, like a trend and then now it's not quite as cool but i think like you know that's why what we're doing here is so important because we have to make sure we get these images out to the girls that are you know the young girls i mean i have a daughter right so for me it's of paramount importance that she gets exposure to all kinds of you know body types um ideologies everything so you know i'm super grateful to sakshi and to you ma'am and to everybody that is out there you know really showing the image of what reality is Thank because you. what's on instagram what's on social media it's not real so that was going to be my last question as we close to you sakshi uh you know in some way social media has been both Uh, a kind of vehicle for rebellion for assertion for autonomy but it is also a way of homogenizing the idea of beauty the idea of cool and many young girls especially who are on social media perennially wired they get their ideas from that idea so for someone like you who's on instagram your feed is such a liberated liberating feed but at the same time social media is also a vehicle for prototyping yeah. how do you personally avoid the trap of not becoming a prototype and not offering a kind of pressure to others who are following you and maybe want to be like you because the toughest thing for women is to be yourself 
I know, that's a lot. One loaded. I know, that's one long question. <laughs> that's one loaded question. No, not loaded. Genuine <laughs> question. Big question. Um, honest answer. I don't think, uh, I'm also navigating it because we're the first generation trying to navigate yeah, this. So yeah. we're trying to do our best um, in terms of speaking about the things that are authentic to us and means to something to us. So I think that's the one thing that uh, helps me navigate the space is authenticity. Uh, I try to be myself um, and I think I try to show the real person as well. So sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I sometimes go and cry on my stories and tell people it's okay to have a bad day or it's okay yeah. to have a bad life. And it's I okay to cry. Yeah, I suffer from anxiety. I get so much hatred for being a happy person. You're too happy for a regular human being. Like it, as if it's a bad thing, like you smile too much or you are you like, do you, what do you eat in the morning? Like this is another hate comment that I get. Um, so sometimes, you know, more often than not, I go on my social media and I tell people that I also like I've been I've been dealing with anxiety pretty much all my life and it's generational. I've seen my nani go through it. I've seen my mother go through it. I've seen my sister go through it. So it's something that we um, I, I'm very aware of it. And um, I think one thing that I uh, thought of education, like education does not make you body positive. Yeah. Awareness does. You know, so even if you're like super educated, like I'm trying to create awareness through my platform and trying to tell the younger girls who are trying, maybe like who follow me than following, you know, the traditional stars per yeah. se, um, that be who you are, but also never forget to work on yourself. That's very, very important. And the fact that, you know, you, you can really like, you don't have to be a social media star or you don't have to be somebody uh, on a public platform to change the world. You can change your own circle and that will be like a uh, effect, you know, and that will have a long lasting effect. So just always remember that. And, and what would you tell your 18 year old self? Uh, life gets easier uh, in terms that's of that's important for this room yes. here right I, life gets easier when it comes to accepting yourself you you genuinely realize the power that you hold within yourself and that once you change your mentality trust me other people's opinions are not going to be as strong Absolutely. as your own opinion of yourself so i know that we all have the tendency to overpower the negative like we'll get that one negative comment in a day and then we'll get 100 positive comments we'll think of that one negative comment but you what about all the positive comments? Focus yes, there. Yes. You focus on that. Well, I just want to say all three of you are fabulous. It's a pleasure to have you on this platform. And keep shining. Keep being happy. Grab every happy moment. Why not? And more power to you in particular, Shatabdi, because you have had to fight hard. And thank you. Let's have a big thank round of so applause much. for thank these you. three fabulous women. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. Oh really? I know mine is grown right now, so I have to tie it up. But she used to look up to you so much that she ended up getting a haircut like you, and my parents freaked out. Oh, give her my love. Come, come. Can we just escort Shatabdi? Of, I think she'll go back that way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She'll go back that way because the ramp is there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know, we heard Shitabdi wanting to be.